This is the Dwalord region, an active war zone. The Whisperers have infiltrated the forest region, and they're everywhere, and can strike at any time, using the walkers to conceal their movement and bolster their numbers. The rogues are a much more organized enemy. They inhabit the desert, but often launch raids into the surrounding areas. They're heavily armed and armored, and none of them can be trusted. And the Psychos, sworn enemies of the Order of Steel. They call the Wasteland their home, where they use radioactive remnants of the Old War create addictive, biochemical supplements that fuel their insanity. During the attack on Alchemist Prime, our loyal friend Temkim was kidnapped by these psychos, and he's now being held captive, possibly being tortured at an unknown location in the Wasteland. And we are gonna get him back. And all the while, the worst enemy of all is ever present, the Walkers. Thousands of them, along with monstrosities yet to be discovered. The conflict between these factions has been waging for years, and the Order of Steel now enters the fray. Let's begin. All right, everyone, here we are, and let the war begin. But look out, because already there is a Whisperer straight over there. It looks like he's holding an axe or something, but I have nothing at all, so I don't want to fight right now. Looks like there's a city up there in the distance. Don't want to pick a fight with the boar. I got nothing on me right now, except for this right here, the starter pack. So we open that up, we're gonna get our bicycle and a couple of just easy starter supplies. So it's gonna say craft a bedroll, we'll do that first. Set that down, I have a feeling we're gonna need that. And that is it for the starting quest. I'm gonna go ahead and just craft some regular old things right now. Not because I have to, but just because I want to. We'll go with a wooden club and uh, that should do it for now. Set my bike down, man, it is refreshing to have a pair of wheels on day one. And the battlefield is like littered basically with um, with these like supply caches here. And since it's Christmas time, <laughs> someone was in a festive mood and wrapped them up for us. So if I could just, yep. Reach right up there and crack this thing open. What do we get here? Nice a desert vulture and an auto shotgun on day one. This is war We do not have time to muck around with Stone Age equipment Although hopefully I find some armor here in the near future. Looks like we got another supply cache here might as well check it In this one we did get some armor. We have some vitamin D B some painkillers and a jar of honey I have no idea what any of that does. We'll figure that out later. So in War of the Walkers, you're gonna have quests and these are how you're gonna specialize your character. So you'll have options to become any certain type of class based on these quests. I wanna focus a lot on the soldier class to start off with, but eventually we'll unlock all of these. So what we're focusing on a lot is killing zombies with the wooden club, killing animals, crafting the mini bike, doing some construction and gathering some materials. Oh, look out, we've got a freaking. <laughs> Whisperer chasing after us right now. Let's get out of here. Okay, that guy does not seem to be giving chase. And here we are at the trader. It's some kind of an interesting new bird up there. And uh, yeah, check this place out, man. This is looking nice. I feel like I just heard a rat. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I heard a rabbit die over here. So yeah, we need this. There's some big rabbits in this world. All right, inside the trader we go. Press the button and here we are. What are you buying today? So, introducing Trader J, who kind of looks like she needs to see a chiropractor. Trader Jen, what's up, woman? Like. Anything you like? And Trader Bill. Nice to meet you all. Okay, we got a zombie outside, and I don't want him to die on the spikes. I want this kill. I'm trying to be a soldier here. Crap. Okay, first things first, search the compound. Any medical supplies? Seems like a good place for him. Trauma first aid kit and vitamins. And that's about it. Can I open these? I cannot. So a trauma first aid kit's just like a super first aid kit. Vitamin B gives us disease resistance and cure fatigue. Painkiller is just a painkiller, but also gives us damage mitigation. And it uh, looks like vitamin D and vitamin B are the same thing. These, these are just regular vitamins. All right, well, let's get to work here. We got some quests to do. All right, I think this commercial talents. bakery is probably our best bet. We're gonna need some food anyway, so. Let's check that out. Looks like Trader Bill just sells like an assortment of materials here. He's got a job for Emotep's Kebab, which is another food store. And then she's got a job here for Motel Number Two. We'll take all three of these. Okay, we've got um, we've got a couple zombies here. Okay, this these are runners too. This is a uh, SWAT soldier zombie that, um, yeah, gotta be careful around this guy. He looks like he kind of knows what he's doing here. Oh, Arlene, on the other hand, no idea what she's doing. Just checking on the quests here. There's also progression quests here. I'm not sure 
what this is all about. We've got zombie hunting. We just got all kinds of these quests. Gather plant fibers for resource progression. And this gives us a bunch of XP and dukes as a reward. Okay, let's get the plant fiber and just see what that does. Okay, that's it for that quest. What happened? I got a bunch of dukes, I think. I leveled up. I have, uh, what? Did it say 12 skill points to spend? Oh boy. And, um, it didn't give me, like, a part two yet, at least, that I can see. No, 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 it's right here. Okay, we gotta gather wood now. Okay, so that's just something that we'll do passively as a way of making some extra money and XP. I'm not gonna focus on it right now. We need to find, like, a place to live, do a couple quests, get some rewards, get some ammo, food, things like that. The essentials. Starting with you, buddy. Okay, bone knife. That was one of the quests that we had to do there. Grab that. Finish this off. All right, taking a look at the map here. It looks like, uh, we've got a cluster of quests right over here. Let's head directly there first. Oh, jeez. Yes, this place. Uh, <laughs> we're not going there just yet. All right, this UI is definitely going to take some getting used to for me. Come here, buddy. Working on my soldier quest. Okay, I killed a rabbit and something happened. Yes, I completed my animal hunting quest. This might help with our wood gathering efforts. Okay, my axes level just increased. Gotta repair this now. So there is, there are action skills, I should say. Speaking of skills, we've got these 12 skill points and I have no idea how we need to spend these. Here's our action skills. We've got axes, pickaxes, all kinds of tools, guns, armor, okay. So that's just passive stuff. Depending on what we decide, that those will just go up on their own. We can spend skill points to unlock certain workstations, but they seem to be locked behind player level. Similar for guns and melee weapons, as well as throwables, crafting recipes, vehicles, and armor. We can unlock some recipes for bullets if we'd like. Food, first aid, and consumables seem to be locked right now. Here are some of our familiar skill points like sexy T-Rex, run and gun, better barter, and others. These are also level locked. It looks like we could maybe take one class. No, we can't take this. This is a um, class, so we have to complete the class quest in order to get this unlocked. And then we can spend our skill points in here to unlock things like the tungsten auger, it appears. The soldier class, which is what I'm gunning for first, no pun intended, <laughs> will allow us to unlock guns and knives and things like that, the recipe to craft them. And so despite the fact that we have what was it, 12 skill points. I can't spend any of them right now. We need to focus on leveling up first. And uh, what level am I in right now? I'm level three, it looks like. Okay, there there it is. We've got the 10,000 XP, the 1,000 Dukes, and another zombie over here. Come here. I kind of go back and forth whether I want to call this zombie Karen or Lois. She looks like Lois from Family Guy, but she just screams Karen to me. Oh man, and that's the snake house. <laughs> I don't want to clear any of these POIs. Hopefully one of the ones that we clear out as a mission will be somewhere we can save the night. There's a wolf there! Yep, definitely. Oh, well, we just got a whole bunch more money because I killed a zombie. Just come- Oh my god, it's a freaking- Whoa, what is, what is this? A skeleton? Ow! Okay, just, uh, we're gonna duck, duck and dodge. It's a mace zombie. Okay, I got a little bit of stamina here. Let him have it. Oh, there we go. Whoa, man. Look out for that guy. Okay, somebody- Is that a whisperer? No, it's a soldier. It is a, a fellow Order of Steel soldier. Who is this? Hyper. Oh my God, Hyper. We got to help him out. Get him. Oh my God, Hyper. It is so good to see you. Hey, come here. Listen, hey, come back here. I'm interested in hiring you for a thousand dukes. Come here. Oh, he's, he's running off to uh, fight a zombie. Let's do this together, buddy. You and me. Yeah, put some first aid on before you die. Oh, and I just ran out of stamina. Oh, that was a good move. Oh yeah, tank him for me a little bit. Nice. Give me the kill though. I want the kill, not you. Damn it. Uh, well, good job. Yes, okay, so the Order of Steel has begun. It is just you and me, Hyper, right now. Let's do this. Keep up with me, all right? No wandering off. Where are you going now? Ah, oh, he'll catch up. Get some food for us for tonight. And uh, yeah, I don't know if we need to aggro that wolf, buddy. He's braver than I am, apparently. Oh, ow. Okay, we do have like a bunch of first aid, so let's not be stingy about that. Okay, we press on. Okay, well, first up, it looks like we're at Emoteps. Oh, and oh, it's right next door too. The, we got the bakery here and Emoteps here, nice. 
Just checking the vending machine here because, uh, oh, there should be some new food and stuff. What is this? A mossy brew. It's a very good drink. It's a little bit pricey, but I mean, the money is rolling in right now, so I don't feel like we have to be too stingy about our money. So let's go ahead and grab the candy, grab some drinks, grab a little bit of food to supplement what we have, and uh, that should be fine. Okay, what are we doing first here? Let's do Emoteps. Tier one clear, open the door. What do we got? Okay. Yeah, you um, you just guard the outside. I'll take the mission. Oh, here he comes. Man, you are too loud. You gotta calm down, man. I gotta train him up. Get him, buddy. <laughs> oh, he's he's an acrobatic one. He's training his, um, his action skills as well in acrobatics and parkour. Yep. Oh, you're gonna get pinned in there. Oh, he found a uh, experiment Z zombie. Oh, this is a real sleepy one here. Uh, Hyper, you're in a real bad spot there, man. You might want to... There you go! Look at that! Ow! Could use your help here, Hyper. I'm out of stamina, as usual. Oh, I heard a... I heard a, a loot bag drop, and I completed some zombie hunting quest. Hyper, can you please stay next to me? Yes, and in keeping with the Christmas theme here, what did we get? We got a reward point card and some other junk. Oh, and that was some shotgun rounds too, so just in case, load this puppy up. And we've got 17 skill points. I don't, I'll, we'll just check tonight probably and see if we can spend any of those. This place is right full of zombies for a tier one. Whoa, buddy. Heal me up. All right, I've had enough of this stuff. Get out of here. Watch your back, man. I got gotcha. you. I've leveled up yet again. <laughs> I broke my glove. There's a lot going on right now. Okay, I think that was the quest. Yeah, we got the uh, talk to trader thing. Okay, I want to talk to you. Show me your inventory? Oh, I can... Okay, you're sworn to carry my burdens, I suppose. I can say patrol, I can say stay where you are, stay where I am, and uh, follow. Okay, so just um, stay here for now. And I'm gonna loot this place up. All right, we're all looted up. The only really good thing I got there was this new primitive bow. And these have like new colors, so I'm not exactly sure what level this corresponds to, but uh, we might be able to figure that out. Two two mod slots at least is all I can tell you. And then I did get a, uh, a, a 4X scope. I think I put that on the desert vulture. I can't put that on anything, Never mind. I can read the grave digger mod schematic. And we are encumbered, so we'll just have to be careful going into this next POI here. Get out of here! Oh, that was animal hunting part two there, so I just got a bunch of more money rolling in. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's hit it. Man, I forgot Hyper over there. Do you think I'm gonna fail if I go get him? Probably. <laughs> Try not to forget him here, at least. Holy crap, a screamer. Oh boy, that's interesting. If I can quietly take her down. Yes, that's not a real scream, was it? Good morning. Oh jeez, it's a whole bunch of zombies back there. Okay. Um, yep, not loaded because I tried to modify it earlier. <laughs> Typical. Okay, patch me up. Whoa, hello there. Yikes. Yeah, again, this is just a lot of zombies for a tier one. Couple of loot bags here though. Don't mind if I do action skill axes. So presumably I just read this and it gives me one point into axes. And this is an experience card for 20,000 XP. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I'm liking this a lot. You know, this might be the place that we have to live at least for tonight. And then uh, tomorrow we'll have to search around town and see if we can find something a little bit, you know, more fortified, safer. That is, um, okay, is this telling me that there's like one more zombie left in there? Or what, what's the deal here? What is going on? Is that toilet paper? I guess I probably will need that later. Oh, Yes, okay, yes. Let's keep that one closed and open this one. Oh, if only I had something to throw in there at them. Close those ones, open these ones. Check the trunk to see if there's any grenades in here. Of course not. There is a couple more shotgun rounds though, which I'll take. Okay, we don't want them crawling out. We want them to bring their heads right up here so I can just smash them in. And just uh, kick things off here with a bang. Oh, they are um, flying right through. <laughs> it didn't work at all. Trying to get like two hits with one bullet like this. Yep, there we go. Okay, hydration getting super low. Let's take that mossy brew, see if that helps out. And 
Done. Is that it for this place? Gunpowder bundle schematic. I guess that helps. Yep, I just had a look and we are done with the quest here. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a moment here to talk about the mods and the settings. So I am, um, I've heavily modded this. This is um, the War of the Walkers mod. I've added a bunch of mods. I have also modified a lot of the War of the Walker files. Uh, so you can check the description for full like links to all the mods and it's sort of a description of how I'm playing this. And I think I'm going to just try to get on the rooftop there and see if we could maybe stay up there for the night. But yeah, there are a couple of things that I'm noticing so far that might be problems or it might be part of the mod. I'm not sure. I can't pick these up. I can't pick up the metal chairs and I can't search sinks. <laughs> so uh, there might be some uh, things wrong here. Let's go grab Hyper over here. Okay, hey, follow me. And what we're going to do is we're going to probably build multiple bases in this playthrough and we're gonna staff every base with like tons and tons of soldiers all right so just setting something up here that i can get up onto I, there's no enemies up here because that would have been part of the quest but just wondering if um i could just live up here <laughs> for the night you know what i mean get a little fire going see if we can get some stuff cooked up although i don't have a cooking pot or anything like that so uh, we might just be eating canned food for tonight. Plus, we'll have to get it so Hyper can come up here. Whoops. Where'd you go, buddy? Come here. Okay, and since we're so encumbered, let's just get some stuff put into storage. Oh, reward point card. That's a one extra skill point, just like that. Very cool. Oh, I also found this smart packaging book, which is an extra five slots in my inventory. Toilet paper sells for $70? That kind of makes sense in a pandemic. Okay, I want to turn in our quests before nightfall, if we can. And I also just want to see if the traders are maybe open at nightfall, because I'm not sure about this mod. My bicycle's back at the trader anyway. I forgot all about that. So in this world here, I probably already talked about this in the prologue, but we have four different factions. Where There's the White River faction, which is going to be the traders. There's the Order of Steel faction, which will be me and the soldiers here. All of the soldiers will have names based off of the patrons. Oh, look out. There's a, uh, speaking of factions, there's a Whisperer down there. The Whisperers are a zombie-friendly faction, so they will not attack or be attacked by zombies. And they'll be appearing at Horde Night and in Wandering Hordes as well, along with the zombies. We then have the Rogues, and the Rogues are going to be kind of specific to the Desert Biome. And then we have the Psychos, which are kind of specific to the Wasteland oh Biome. If you're, and the psychos uh, if you're are holding Temcam, so we have to get him eventually once wow, we build up our forces. Hey, there we go, Good some job. pipe bombs. Once we build up our forces and get a plan and get some gear and get some skills, then we're going to start raiding in the wasteland looking for him. Okay, Jen is selling an auger schematic and the steel tool schematic and the, the good pistol beat book, the 10% more damage with 9 mil weapons. Yeah... I want kind of all of those. Okay, restock days tomorrow too. Oh boy. So if we want it, we've got to get it now. And the Grandpa's Awesome Sauce will pay for itself someday. So definitely getting that. Jeez, she's got a nail gun, but it's... Oh, it's... um. This has a quality now. She's got Lucky Goddle. Oh my gosh, her inventory is just like stacked with good stuff. SMG schematic, my goodness. Okay, um, let's try to ration things here. So I feel like the auger is something that we can find in this mod. I don't think that's something that's gonna be gated like really, really late game, you know? However, that Pistol Pete book is pretty much like gold to me. So let's roll with that. Better. I get some pipe bombs from this guy as well. The bacon and eggs recipe, I'd rather have pipe bombs. And I'll come back and get jobs from them tomorrow after we've completed that other quest. So I'm just gonna shop here until they boot me out of the trader if they boot me out so trader j here appears to specialize in these like reward cards and experience cards so you can just literally buy xp and action skills but i'd like to be a little bit more frugal with my money I because i want to be able to hire soldiers if i come across them in the wild okay well it is 2157 are they gonna boot me out here because i think they would have booted me out already if they were going to right and we haven't gotten the like you know the trader is closing soon okay so it looks like the trader is 24 hours so we could just stay here tonight what's going on out here oh oh just um a lot of craziness out here okay, we got a bear fighting a zombie we've got santa claus out there as long as we don't get um you know any whisperers tonight i think we'll be just fine okay a wolf just killed itself on the spikes over here so don't mind me i'm gonna grab up that meat and then I'm just going to take the bike back to the base because that's where all of our food and stuff is. And we are getting kind of hungry. Oh, there's a wolf. Nope, 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 nope. Hyper, keep up with me, please. Okay, Hyper is bound and determined to just fight zombies out here. <laughs> um, buddy, we can't be doing this out here all night. Oh, boy. Now he's getting ambushed from behind. Who is this guy? All right, I guess we're working on clearing the area. Oh, no, 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 no. My, my thing is broken. Help me. Oh, my God. He runs fast. Okay, get the bone knife out. 
Yes, you guard the bicycle down here. I'm gonna go upstairs. We're super hungry and I did find this hobo stew inside uh, one of these places here. So we'll suck that down. Save a little bit for Hyper over here. And uh, Hyper is in a super dangerous spot, but I've got coverage from above. I think 10 shotgun rounds would be enough to kill that bear between the two of us. So I think it's just a matter of kind of waiting out the night as uh, really just too dangerous for us. And we have very limited ammo and supplies. So let's just kind of hunker down here and wait until morning. All right, good morning everyone. Just cracked dawn here and we're at this motel. Hyper's with me. We're gonna murder some zombies here bright and early. Nice. Okay, so what do we have here? Just a very, very small motel. This is just a vanilla place, I think. Although I'm not sure if I've ever been here. This is like a town POI. Are we in a town right now or are we in a city? I think we're in a town actually. Very kind of small place, that's okay. Working vending machine as well. And we have plenty of money. We'll get another mossy brew here. That should do for now. I'm gonna mark this on the map here as a working vending machine. Oh yes, new things to put on the map. Always like this, although I don't see anything. Okay, here's a can to say vending and that way we can stop by here occasionally. So overnight I got some better tools crafted. We've got a better ax, club, stone pickaxe, stone shovel. I crafted some more clothing and I found out that my next soldier quest is to kill a bunch of zombies with a pipe pistol and I'm able to pin this recipe over here. Just a little quality of life improvement. I think that's an improvement coming to vanilla soon too in Alpha 21. Hyper, what are you doing over here? Zombie man is attacking. Hello, zombie man. I was able to spend a bunch of the skill points too last night, but I'm kind of saving some because I'm not sure exactly how many I'm going to get. So I don't want to like spend them into things that I don't really need just yet anyway. So like I got some points into shotguns and bows. Oh, we got a soldier over there. Oh, hey buddy, come over here. I don't want to fail the quest. Can you just walk over to me a little bit? I want to know who you are. Yes, um, I'm, in, I'm in the yellow. Come on, a little bit closer there. Hyper, go recruit him. No, no, come back here. Just, <laughs> I'm risking it. Hired, you're hired, whoever you are. Warren, welcome to the team, Warren. Come back over here, please. Yes, 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 come this way. Warren, Warren's, oh, he hello there. <laughs> welcome back. All right, in we go, friends, or or you could just, uh, you know, hold down the fort outside and I'll clear it out. Either way. Now Warren's just being a badass soloing the skateboarder boy over there. Okay, of all the things we need, you know, a helmet light's kind of top on the, the list for me. Yeah, see, I can't pick these chairs up. I'm not sure if that's just me mucking around in the, in the files a little bit too much or um, if that's just a mod thing. Look at that! Left me a big present with some shotgun rounds in it. So that's just a like a holiday thematic thing that I think um, is part of the mod, but uh, I'll probably just disable that after Christmas. We'll put it that way. Okay, cloth, definitely do need that. I'll wear that fancy green shirt. Okay, gentlemen, you're in the way a little bit, but they're actually, they're pretty good at like getting out of the way. Ooh, ski goggles, nice. And a sweatshirt. I prefer the green t-shirt though. Oh, I just picked up some uh, corn seeds out of the toilet. Oh my God, that's disgusting. Another vending machine out back. Oh, we'll have to remember that, that there's two here. I like these mossy brews. We'll take a jailbreaker, stock up on the atom junkies and the hackers. Also dog food. I mean, I, I'm getting the sense that like, Materials are not difficult to come by with this mod and I really like that like this just speeds up the whole progression of the game And so we might get into crafting like learning elixirs and stuff like that here So I'm gonna make sure that we have plenty of dog food. Isn't this the end loot? Yeah, here we go Gentlemen, let them have it, but let me have the XP Or do we get shared XP might be worth checking on that. I'm not exactly sure. No, no, I don't think we did share the XP on that. Move, please. I'll, I'll take the loot. How's that sound? Right. Uh, I need pipes so I can make the pipe pistol. I, I have plenty of 9 mil. We can get some pipes out of this here. There's my pipes. And, uh, nope, not quite enough. I need one more. Yep, there we go. That's one. Pipe pistol, please. And we can just put the desert vulture away because I don't have the ammo for it right now anyway. Put the boots on, scrap those, and also it looks like we have some armor mods to put on. Very nice. Although in retrospect, I probably would have put two points into pistols and crafted a better one. Although that would have increased the recipe requirements, I think. So yeah, scratch that. All right, I think we're done here. Oh, hello there. Oh, we got another soldier. Who are you? Herbivore. Herbivore. <laughs> 
Welcome to the team, my friend. I'm interested in hiring you for a thousand dukes. All right, man, we are growing big here. The order of steel is rising and it needs cobblestone. There is apparently still a zombie in here somewhere. Oh, I got a duster there. So I'm just gonna clear out. <laughs> We're gonna go like room to room now. Hello? We need cloth as well. Yes, give me this. Cause we have to make cloth armor for, I don't know, some random quest. Whoa, here we go. Yes, and we, okay, you guys, what do you do? Oh, you're crouching with me? What? That is so cool. Okay, well, you stay out there. I gotta get these kills. Ow, ow, whoa. <laughs> Help! Oh my god! Friends, get him! Oh, thanks guys. Why do I get the feeling that I'm the follower and, and these are like the protagonists of the story? <laughs> oh, right. Yes, more zombies in here, it looks like, somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna get a kill here with the pipe pistol, whether it's the last thing I do. Hello? It's a snake. Are you kidding me? Oh, of all things to see here. Get back, everyone! I got it! Okay, move. It's getting really crowded here. We gotta, we gotta get a base going and drop some of these guys off. Not only that, but I got a bunch of weaklings here. Okay, so Hyper has a machete, and uh, Warren here has a, a knife, which is not too bad, but um, Herbivore here has a, a wooden club, and there's no way for me to change that. There's also no way for me to uh, rename you guys. So unfortunately, all the soldiers are male. However, there are some female, like some badass mercenary females that uh, are I've heard are around town here. So hopefully we run into them at some point as well. Okay, let's get the bicycle and head out of here. All right, so the jobs should have refreshed oh, today. So we're gonna get to some get new this. jobs. Where okay, we've got Dunkin' Donuts, okay. a bunch of like nine mil, or a batter up book. I, I'm liking the clubs kind of thing for this playthrough, so let's go with batter up. And we've got a military Water installation to go get some supplies from, it looks like. Tier one fetch, we'll do that. And a fetch at farm number six, sure. Okay, so we're kind of all over the place on the map, so I'm thinking let's go north first, and then we'll loop south and then back to the trader, hopefully by the end of the day. Just being super careful as I roll through, because I'm kind of reminded that we could turn a corner at any moment and there could be a whisperer with a rocket launcher and just just waste us right there. That is definitely a possibility. Also, you know, M60s, machine guns, uh, shotguns, every anything could happen here. Trader wrecked as a zombie, the way he should be. And uh, what was this? This is one of the farms. Yep, let's just hit this and see what we're gonna get up to here. Warren, man, you gotta be careful like that. You're gonna get yourself hurt. Trying to be a hero and get a purple heart. Ooh, a dead pig. How'd that happen? Must have died on the spikes, I guess. Fucking clown is after me! Ah! Terrifying! Kill him! Ow! Supposed to watch my back, guys. Oh, crap. Is that a whisperer out there? Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Come on, guys. Let's go get this person. Trying to break my bike. No! Oh, he's healing up. You bastard. Get him! There we go. Yeah, look. He almost broke my bike. What a bastard. Speaking of bike, we gotta stash this stuff up so we're not too encumbered. I'm getting the sense that we're kind of dwelling on this place a little bit too long. We need to get out of here as soon as we possibly can. Oh, jeez, man. Whole bunch of zombies lurking in there. Get out of here, Steve. Just here for the supplies. But I'm not leaving without the loot either. Oh, here's a sink that I can search. Maybe it's just... It's probably certain POIs that, uh, some of the compo pack ones that the sinks are kind of broken in. I see. Oh, wow, this must have been, yes, it's a farm loot crate, and it's appropriate because we're at a farm, and that was a whole bunch of farming material in there. Man, I can envision a really nice farm for the future. Okay, we're on to the next one. All right, next up here is Dunkin' Donuts. And, uh, this is a very active location here, being kind of in the downtown area. Check the mail always when you're low level. You get these books like at a really, really high rate. What is this place here? Holy cow, man. Behind you, herbivore. Oh my God. Situational awareness, man. You kill stealing motherfucker. No. You suck. Oh, I did level up after that though. Am I getting XP? I don't even know where to freaking look for XP. <laughs> I'm looking at the bottom right corner, but it's I think it's happening at the bottom left corner. Okay, did I get XP for that? I don't see any XP anywhere. What the hell, man? <laughs> I'll figure it out eventually. Class fragment for the tradesman. Gather five of these fragments to craft a class paper to complete the quest line. 
That's, uh, I, I don't know what that means. Books galore. I'll sell the ones I've already read, though. Need every dollar we can get to hire more members of the order. Okay, are we ready? Let's hit this. Oh, goodness, it's a skeleton. What? Oh my god, someone hit me really hard. Ow. Help me, guys. Okay, skeleton had a very big present up his butt. And I'll take it. 10,000 XP. Nice. Well, that paid off. I might not get the XP for the kill, but uh, I'll get the XP from the loot. Okay, I are we going up up to get in? Is this how it works here? Oh, jeez. Okay, we got some supplies up here, which is nice. Get out of here. Okay, I can hear our friends downstairs murdering a bunch of zombies, which is really nice to hear. Okay, oh, ow! Jeez, help! I think we're still trying to get kills with the pistol here, so I'm gonna focus on this as much as I can. Forged steel. That's a good find. Okay, um, guys, are you gonna... Oh my god, there's a lot of zombies coming up here. I don't want nothing to do with this guy. Get out of here. Oh, fucking Santa's coming up here now. Oh, boy. Oh, my. Not good. Painkiller, please. I don't even know what happened. Like I was getting tag teamed by someone. Oh, and uh, someone bled out. Hyper, freaking stay here and protect me. I'm bleeding. What? A snowman? Well, that's, that's kind of fun. Okay, Hyper, stay close to me, okay, man? I gotta get all these resources. All right, I think that's it. There is, uh, there are zombies, I think, inside the POI, and hopefully, yes, there's a way in over here, and I'm hoping that the order members will follow me down here, because I'm imagining this is some kind of a trap. Doesn't look like it'd be easy to get out of here. Ooh, who's this? Zombie firefighter, and he's a tough one. Clearly got some armor on. Ooh, and the freaking crawler gets me at the end. Typical. I found this a couple times. It's a chemical pile. And it has chemicals in it, and it says that's a recipe used to craft something, so we'll figure that out at some point, hopefully. Okay, risky business here, but we gotta drop down. Looks like we're relatively kind of maybe safe here. Who's this? Spearman Z! Get back! Hopefully some good food in here. I've been chomping down everything. Ooh, iced coffee! Stamina regen, 25% for three minutes and three seconds. Interesting time frame on that, but I'll take it. Oh, and I'm, this is the main loot right here. Oh! Hyper! What's up, man? Got a pipe rifle here, serrated blade mod, and some food. Okay, there's still like the whole store though. Uh, looks like our friends have already done all the work for us though. Good job, guys. I'll leave you guys to it. I'm gonna see if I can get us some coffee. Let's get him. Yeah, I'm super encumbered. I was gonna give Hyper the coffee, <laughs> fittingly, right? Okay, uh, that's Warren. Hyper, where are you at? Show me your inventory and just um, hang on to some of this stuff for me. Although, because I've never done this before, I don't wanna put anything too terribly important in there, just in case, you know, he dies or <laughs> other disasters happen. Okay, still looking for the last zombie. Looks like there's a bathroom over here, baby. Yeah, where are you at? Here you are. Fuck out of here. Any more? Okay, so we've uh, we've got the main loot. We've got everything, I think. So let's just uh, get out of here now. Excuse me, guys. Move, 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 move. Everybody out. Hop to it. We might have a problem here. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Yes, there we go. Out, out, out. We still got one place to clear out tonight. Where's my bike? Over here. Not gonna pass these up, though. Oh, wait. We've got gunfire. We've got multiple different types of gunfire, too. Okay, there might be an engagement between some Order of Steel members and a Whisperer, so we need to hustle over there and figure this out. Oh, no. There's a raid going on here. Oh my goodness. Gentlemen, stay back. It looks like the rogues are doing some POI clearing over here and I want nothing to do with any of that. Let's just um, get out of here unnoticed and hopefully not draw any extra attention to ourselves. I don't want them to know that we've moved into the area. The rogues, they, they outclass us right now. We just, we are no match for them right now. They have too many guns. Okay, this is our last quest of the day. This was the military installation. All right, looks like we've got him taken care of. We've got a couple guys already rolling in here. Excellent. Good job, guys. Way to show the initiative. Oh, we got a bird. Okay, just doing a little bit of double looting here. And then I'm gonna reset the quest. There we go. Okay, again. <laughs> Lay down right next to your friend there. Holy crap, we've got someone. Who is this? That's like the quartermaster for this place. Ow! Shit, man, guys, help me. Massive first aid kit. Oh my god. Oh shit. 
Guys, help! Oh my god, what happened there? Fucking zombies coming out of nowhere. Colonel Lynch, holy crap, get him out of here. Oh yeah, this is, uh, this is a lot more going on here than I expected. Ooh, three for one. Nice. Where are the birds coming from? Don't look at me like that. I know what I'm doing here. Okay, we just uh, made our way up to the rooftop, but there's nothing up here. There was a ladder going up from in here. I think we want to go in this way and then down into the basement. I remember this place. <laughs> oh, this is so dangerous. Yeah, I don't know about this place, man. Yeah, because um, it was... There was an old series I did called The Road. It was the second series I ever did on YouTube, and uh, I blew this place up for fun. <laughs> We're not gonna do that today, though, because uh, I don't want to fight screamers all night long. Yep, you guys get the soldier, I'll get the crawlers. Excellent. Oh, ow, no! What was that? He pushed me into the crawler. Is that it? Oh, we're here to retrieve supplies. Where are those? Actually, there's some loot back here, I think. Is this like a, a oh, paint pile? That's uh, interesting. Not sure that I need that. Really nothing back here. Okay, was there a loot that's uh, up on one of these shelves? Oh, there's the satchel. Oh, and there is something hidden back there. Oh, what's back there? Ooh. Okay, hopefully when we go back to talk to Trader Jen tonight, she'll be selling some antibiotics or honey or something. You're getting a little uh, rambunctious there, Warren. I might have to kind of <laughs> leave you at home next time. Ah, ooh, here's the main loot. Oh yeah, this could be a real problem. This tight staircase, I brought them all down here with me. Uh-oh, oh, repair kit for armor, interesting. And the main loot gives us a mag extender. Take that, okay, back out of here, guys. Herb, now that you're the one in the way, come on, man. Not too bad, they seem to snap out of it pretty quickly. And is that it here? Right, I guess we're staying on the rooftop of wherever that, that bakery, I guess, is where we're living tonight. But let's turn in our quests, I suppose, since the traders don't seem like they're closing at night, and see if we get any good rewards today. Good all right, job. I got all your stuff there. Man, she is loaded with pipe. Oh, she got a cigar too. Ooh, a screamer block. Whoa, I bet that um, like generates a bunch of heat, right? So you can um, farm screamers. Bone booster. You can heal your broken limbs as well as prevent any future injuries to your arms or legs. The duration of the buff. Sounds like something I should have. Also, I'll take a painkiller for my concussion. I'll take that mining book. Oh, look at this, an armor smithing workstation. Another awesome sauce. Yes, definitely need that. It'll pay off in the end. Oh crap, what happened? What are you doing out here? Tell your friends. Okay, we need to close these doors. I'm getting nervous. Oh, they're just, uh, they're they're fighting people. Oh, no, no, don't open the doors. You our guys are ridiculous. Okay, well, you work on that. What the hell, a raft? Oh, man. Wonder if there's a lake nearby. Oh yeah, there's that concussion kicking in. Let's take that painkiller right away. That should cure that. The deep laceration, I'll need a sewing kit. I don't have one of those yet. Let's check over here with Bill. Bill's laying the pipe as well. But I'll take the shotgun rounds this time. Yay. Okay, more damage to deer or choke mod? Definitely gonna roll with the choke mod. Do you have anything nice? No, you don't. Crucible schematic, that that might be nice. But um, like I said before, I think we're gonna progress so quickly that we're not gonna find very Maybe many bottlenecks. Excuse me, Herb, leave me alone, man. Yeah, no one's selling antibiotics today, but it does look like traders restock daily, which is freaking awesome, so. We'll have to come back tomorrow. I think I do have if some I honey have back at the base. All right, my friends, let's get out of here. Oh my God, I just walked through. <laughs> I was like, is there a mounted deer head in this game now? Nope, but there's dinner here. Give me that and let's go home. Ah, uh, yes, everyone joined me up here tonight. Excellent, good job, guys. Let's get a fire going so that at a minimum we can see something around here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do for tonight is just get the inventories organized and see if I can learn a little bit more about the crafting and the skill system, maybe spend a couple of skill points. And tomorrow we're just gonna start grinding. Maybe we'll start thinking about some resource collection and we've got to scout around the village here to see if we can find a POI that we can kind of set up in permanently and convert into our horde base as we make preparations to build our own mega base. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.